Hello, welcome to the Expert Talks by Kelkine TV, I'm Sage. Today's guest is Mr. Mark Whitten, who's a CIO at Portal Asset Management. And Portal Asset Management are a multi-award winning digital fund manager whose data-driven strategy has the ability to provide excellent return on investment to high value clients. In today's show, Mr. Mark Whitten will discuss a new offering from the fund managers, the Horizon Weighted Index Fund. And as you know, we bring you the industry leaders and successful business owners in order to understand the insights of the stock market, or in this case, the crypto sector. So bringing you live today, we have Mr. Mark Whitten, CIO of Portal Asset Management. Welcome to the show, Mark. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Great to have you on and exciting news coming from the Portal Asset team. So, Mark, let's start off with the success of Portal Asset Management's digital fund. It's great to hear that there's a new offering of the financial mm. instrument from you. Can you tell us more about the Horizon Index Fund and how it will open the opportunity for wholesale investors to get exposure to the digital asset space? Sure. Um, so we noticed in our interactions with family offices, uh, for the most part, that some of the barriers to entry um, for them were the complexity of the trading strategies and um, the issues around custody and counterparty risk. And the fact that, you know, if they wanted to hold crypto directly, they would be taking on risks such as, um, you know, who has, who's holding the keys, key man risk, if somebody should, something should happen to that person and so on. Um, so guided by what we perceived as quite a, a strong need in the market for what we call a pseudo ETF type product. We put together the uh, Portal Horizon Index Fund, which is basically an equally weighted index of the top 25 crypto assets, um, both cryptocurrencies as well as the DeFi assets and smart contracts, DeFi tokens and smart contracts. So excluding stable coins, excluding anything that's pegged to a fiat currency. Um, the reason we did this is that we perceive that as much as um, Bitcoin and Ethereum dominate the market in terms of their weighting, we believe that the next level of growth and, you know, we'd prefer to have a broad market exposure to the top 25 crypto assets across all the sectors, you know, not just layer one, but layer two, NFTs, um, you know, the new gaming tokens, etc. And the thought is to reduce the, the risk in terms of holding the keys and the custody um, so we use boutique asset management or boutique capital in Sydney as our trustee. Um, we have Gemini as the as the custodian, and we we generally trade on Binance. Um, so it's very safe, secure. You get units in the Horizon Index Fund. We re-rate it monthly. So on a monthly basis, um, we just take a view as to what each of the tokens have done, and we re rebalance the fund so that there's four percent of capital in each of the uh, in each of the tokens. That's, that's excellent news. Sounds like you've really thought this through, Mark. Would you mind if I ask a question about the funds under management with Portal at the moment? Do you have that data available? Yes. Um, so the Portal Digital Fund, which is the flagship fund, started um, in May 2020, going on um, just over well, 20 months now. Um, we're close to 20 million US dollars, depending on how this month goes. You know, we started off the month at, at around 18 and we had inflows, but the market's down probably around 10 to 15 percent. So we'll see how the month ends. Um, but we'll call it call it 18 million US dollars confirmed there in the Horizon Index Fund, which has just been launched. Um, it's been in the planning for a while, but we've just launched it now. Um, there's probably about only three, four hundred thousand uh, dollars in there at the moment. But we're, we're you know, we haven't really started marketing it as yet. So going into the new year, we'll be driving it um, as well as a potential third fund, which will be an actively managed um, long short type strategy. That's fantastic, Mark. Uh, well, happy to help spread the news about this fantastic new product from Portal Asset Management. So how does the Horizon Weighted Index Fund outshine the ProShares Bitcoin Futures ETF or Singapore's Fintonia Bitcoin Physical Fund, please? So I think if we take a look at the, the correlation between um, between Bitcoin and Ethereum and the rest of the, the overall market, the correlation is still very high. Um, it's, it's call it around between 80 and, and as much as over 90 percent in times of, of stress. However, on a, on a weighted strategy, um, taking into account fees, we've achieved 200, I think it was 257 percent versus 243 percent versus the CCI 30. And that's because some of the DeFi and smart contract tokens have outperformed relative to Bitcoin. 
which had a spectacular run. Leo won tokens at a spectacular run in October, um, but they're also you know tend to fall really hard as well during times of, of, of market volatility. But it's it's you know it's a passively managed fund, so there's no real active. Um, it's not like we sit and decide which tokens get weighted more or less. It's it's broad, you know, 20, 25 tokens, 4% in each token. We reweight it on a monthly basis and it's passively managed. So you're just getting a broad market exposure. As such, you're taking on market volatility, which is still around um, north of 80% at the moment, closer to 90% with the correction we saw over the weekend. Um, so it's not a managed vol product like the initial flagship fund, which maintains volatility mm -hmm. below 20 odd percent. It's less than a third of the overall market. And that fund is delivered around 90% net of fees for the year. Well, I think one of the selling points, as you mentioned, is that it's a broad uh, basket of those top 25 altcoins, is it? Do you include Bitcoin mm -hmm. as well? Yeah. Yeah. So the top, you know, Bitcoin is 4%, Ethereum is 4%, Solana is 4%, etc., all the way down to the top 25, excluding the stable coins. So you still get exposure to the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum, but mm -hmm. on a monthly basis, we just reweight them. So, you know, if something's rallying hard, um, you know, it'll be it'll be cut on a monthly basis and vice versa. If it's starting to fall out the index, it'll be up weighted, but you're not going to be, you know, just holding this all the way down. Once it gets past the top 25, it's, it's removed. Or once something goes into the top 25 for more than a week, it's added. Excellent. Thank you for explaining that to us. So the backtesting on your strategy has provided some promising results, potentially earning investors up to an amazing 250% return on investment. Could you talk us through this, please? Sure. Well, I mean, it's it's essentially, you know, as, as, as the strategy has been explained, um, you take a look at equally weighting those, those top 25 tokens from the beginning of the year and on a monthly basis, looking at what they've achieved over the month and then reweighting everything we based it on a, a, a nominal sum of a million dollars invested um, and then, you know, weighting it, as I said, on a monthly basis, cutting the ones that had done really well and then upscaling some of those that had had lagged. And this balances out over time. You you know, the, the majority of tokens tend to follow the lead of, of Bitcoin and Ethereum. There are times when in the first half of the year, the first call it quarter of the year, the overall market outperformed um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, but then it also fell a lot harder in May and June, um, and then Bitcoin caught up and rallied, and, and so did all the layer ones in, in October. So net net over time, you know, the, we believe this broad proxy gives you a better representation with the same volatility, but I think you're getting exposure to you know better, a more diversified portfolio that's not subject to just one or two tokens that that, that are dominating the performance. Yes, exactly. And, and it can be to an investor's benefit to hold uh, cryptocurrencies over a long span of time rather than trade it um, to see the changes in the price. And some of the altcoins have seen amazing uh, returns of a thousand percent or more over the last 12 months, which is amazing to see. So the Horizon Index Fund is open to sophisticated and institutional investors as well as family offices ad advertise on your website. Can Australian investors invest via family trusts or self-managed super funds at all, Mark? Yes, no, they can They can invest via those those structures. There's not a problem. Um, and it's domiciled locally. So, you know, there's there's no issue with, um, with foreign entities and whatnot. I think, you know, we, we've also just seen, just to, to kind of finish off on, on, on your initial earlier point around uh, some of the tokens that performed, um, you've seen a shift away in strategies, away from more quantitatively driven strategies uh, towards more fundamentally driven strategies and investors that are looking into thematics and investing in some of the tokens that are outside the mainstream. But we haven't really got many um, ETF type products. I think this is the first here in, in Australia. Um, there's a couple, um, you know, that you can take a look at indices that you can either replicate or look at purchasing. The Sarsen, um, you mentioned ProShares. Um, there's a few other, but I think net net, you know, for family offices that are looking to generate, you know, intergenerational wealth, that are looking to to give themselves a bit of diversification to the space, that have a longer time horizon and are very conscious of fees. You know, this is a passively managed product, so there's just a management fee and there's no performance fees. At the same time, there's no like token picking. It's just the top 25 excluding stable coins. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing that. Sounds like an amazing product. So if people want to find out more about this, they can just head straight to the Portal Asset Management website. Is that correct? Yes, portal.am. Thank you. And the subscription forms and all the rest of it there. So it's very easy to, to find. 
if it's essentially there'll be three products in the long run there will be the portal digital fund which is a low vol fund very much you know less than a third of the market volatility and very diversified there'll be an actively managed fund in the middle which is more of a long short fund conservative around 35 to 50 percent annualized volatility and then there'll be this horizon index fund which is just a broad representation of the overall market and will therefore give you the market returns it'll be the same as buying the s p 500 you know if, you, if you're related to the asx if you're related to buying an equity index yes it could be a good way to get introduced to the whole crypto sector and understand how the volatility um, affects investments but on a broad basis of a the top 25 cryptocurrencies, um, it'll be interesting to see how that balances out and, and provides a significant return using your strategy. So Mark, we're reaching the end of our discussion now. What are the ways of investing in digital assets and where does Horizon fit into these offerings, please? Yeah, I mean, so you, you can buy the tokens directly. You can open an account. Um, I see, unfortunately, another um, exchange, Melbourne-based exchange, ran into some difficulties being placed under administration. So you have to be very wary of counterparty risk, um, you know, and, and, and custody risk. So if you're buying the tokens directly, you know, ensure that whoever's holding the keys, um, that you have some sort of at least in duplicates, in triplicates even better authentication. Um, and if one set of the keys is lost, you're still able to recover because that is the real risk. You know, in crypto, whoever's holding the keys controls the crypto. And the second strategy would be to go out there and find, um, you know, find a fund. Australia's got some some great funds like Apollo um, Digital Asset Capital Management with this digital asset fund. Um, there's some great offshore funds. There's the big, you know, the Panteras and Galaxies. And then there's lots of niche funds, which is what we look for. We look for funds um, within the Portal Digital Fund, which is the third way to invest is via a fund of fund structures. We look for best in class fund managers that are all running very differentiated strategies. So we give you a lot more diversification and a lot less correlation. You know, the beta of that fund is around 0.25. So when the markets are down, like in November, the markets are down between seven and 9%. Our fund was flat. Um, you know, again, in, in, in September, the markets were down, I think nine, we were down one and a half. So we tend to be down around you know, at most 10 to 15% of the overall market drawdown. So it gives you a more smooth volatility profile. And that's, you know, the Horizon Fund sits on the opposite end of that spectrum where you're not getting any hedging, you're not getting any protection, you're just taking market risk. So it's a great timing tool, you know, when the markets are down, excuse me, as they were over the weekend, and as much as 20, 25 percent, mm -hmm. now would be a good time to invest in a fund like that as you're getting, you know, a broad exposure at a, at a relatively much you know, cheaper valuation. Yes, you're absolutely right there. Buy low, sell high is the usual adage that goes along with that. And diversification is one of the best tactics to um, impact or to manage volatility, which um, is one of the factors that people think of when they think of investing in crypto. So it sounds like a brilliant time to take a closer look at Portal Asset Management's Horizon Weighted Index Fund. Mark, thank you so much for your insights today. It was great to connect again. Was there anything you'd like to share with us before we close off the discussion? Um, yeah, I think we, we've got a, a really wonderful webinar um, tomorrow with Henry um, Oslanian, the head of PwC's crypto strategy. We'll be putting out his report. I think when investors are starting to sit down and think about their asset allocation decisions for 2022 and where they'd like to allocate to equities, fixed income, real estate and alternatives, uh, bearing in mind the change in the inflationary outlook and interest rate outlook that kind of sparked this latest sell off last week. It'll be good to, to sit down with us. We'll give our sort of brief market outlook and Henry will give his outlook for the crypto space. I think it'll be a very entertaining and um, enjoyable webinar that we'll be um, you know, hosting tomorrow. So if anyone would like the link, feel free to reach out to me. It's you know, mark at portal.am and I'll, I'll register you and get you a link. Fantastic, Mark. Thank you. Looking forward to your webinar. I'll hopefully be there too. And thanks for joining us and making time amidst your busy schedule to share the latest from Portal Asset Management. No, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Well, everyone, that was Mr. Mark Whitten from Portal Asset Management with the fantastic news about the New Horizon Weighted Index Fund. Sounds quite inviting at the times now when the market has recently had a bit of a flash crash and a sell-off. The prices are lower than they usually are in some cases. I think Bitcoin reached a price that it hadn't seen since October this year. So. 
Who knows where it's going to go next? Probably upwards, um, but we'll just have to wait and see what the charts are showing. Um, thanks for joining us. If you wanted to catch any more of that interview, it'll be available on our YouTube channel, Calkine Media. And keep watching Calkine for more of the Expert Talks live market updates. But till the next episode, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.